So now I have a thing. And I'm saying, again, what am I asking? I'm just asking you to do what? The question is just saying, do what? Factor. Factor. That means take this expression and just write it as a product. The product of what we call its two factors. Yes, did I write it down wrong? Yeah, it's a, a 3x squared y, right? 3x plus 3x squared y. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now what we're going to do is when we're looking in factoring, there's a couple te techniques. Um, one, the first one is always looking for a GCF. What could you factor out? What can you divide out? Because that's a really easy way to factor something. Well, we notice that these do all not share a common factor. So I can't just factor something out. And the trinomial method, what I did last problem, I can't do that because I don't have three terms, right? I don't have three terms to do that method with. I have four terms. So one of the common techniques when we have four terms is to do what we call the grouping technique. And on the grouping technique, what we do is we group the first two terms and the last two terms. And then from each one of those, we factor out what they have in common. So you look at 9x squared minus 3x, and you say, what do those two have in common? You say, well, we can factor out a 3x. By factoring out a 3x, you're left with a 3x minus y. Then we look at 6x minus 2y and say, what can we factor out there? Well, we can factor out again a positive 2. And by factoring out a positive 2, we're left with 3x minus y. Now, what I want you guys to notice is, besides the color, of 3x minus y being the same, is, is that expression exactly the same as well? Yes? So a lot of you guys got to this point, but then you kind of got stuck. You're like, I don't know what else to do. But is this, I, this is a product, and this is a product, but is the whole expression written as a product? No. It's a product plus another product. That's not factoring. Factoring is writing a whole expression as a product. This is a product plus another product. So what I have to do now is factor out the 3xy, 3x minus y. And I'm left with, so now it's 3x minus y times 3x plus 2. All right. Now I know you guys might say, well, oh, you're adding and subtracting inside that. Yes, I am, but that's inside the expression. That's the factor. You can add and subtract inside the factor. The main important thing is we have our whole expression written as a product. It's one factor times another factor. OK, any questions? Good? Done, done. Okay. So the last thing I was just going to make a quick little